Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up on-screen display to monitor your game's performance using MSI Afterburner in 2019. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe down below and thank you for watching. Well, first thing is first, let's download and install MSI Afterburner, which is absolutely free and a must tool to have for gamers enthusiasts. So without further ado, let's begin. Go ahead and open up your web browser and I always recommend installing WinRAR, which is absolutely for free. If you already don't have it, great tool to unzip files. Go ahead and click on that. And in this section here, 5.71 release, which is the stable version, choose the language that you like and the version of Windows. I'm going to choose 64 bit English. Hit save, open the file up very quick very easy hit install hit ok and done there you have it now you have winrar installed and it will come really handy in the future go ahead and just close that out next in your web browser type in msi after burner and you'll get this option here on top go ahead and click on that and go ahead and scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll get this option here that's the one you want to choose msi after burner not these two here and you want to choose this first option download not the beta version go ahead and hit download hit ok and it opens right up you could minimize that opens right up here double click on that hit yes and at this point i like to close all the previous windows keep it nice and neat close that out hit OK, hit Next, hit Accept, hit Next. Now there's a very important part here, make sure, and usually does come already checked the second part here, Riva Tuner must be checked in order to get everything going right, go ahead and hit uh, Next. If you don't have this part installed, then you will not get the display on your uh, screen. So go ahead and hit Next, hit Install, and we go ahead and sit back and just wait. Depends on how fast your computer is. This really is a pretty quick installation. And the first one, we're going to be installing the MSI Afterburner. And you see the icon. The shortcut is already formed here. And this is the second part. This is the River Tuner. And like I said, that was very important that it's checked uh, earlier before if not then this installation part would not come through and then you want to be able to use the on-screen display so there you have it hit ok hit next hit accept hit next again install and the second installation does usually take a little bit longer Oh, there you have it it's all done and hit finish I'm gonna check these off for now and that's it that's how you install MSI after burner and river tuner and all we have left to do is go through the settings so stay tuned okay now let's get to the good stuff I'm gonna use my usual format when I test out different games with different hardware so follow along i'll make this as easy as possible so let's get to it okay first you'll open up the msi after burner and it'll look just like this go ahead and hit this wheel this is settings and just follow my steps go ahead and click an on-screen display and create a hotkey to toggle on and off display uh, i like to use shift f2 and uh, there you have it you could choose something else but remember when you're making these uh, hotkeys uh, remember to make them that way they don't associate with the games that you play because then uh, when you press the button then you're going to be you know playing the game and that's a hotkey you don't want it to be the same as as the game controls so you know definitely figure that part out or you could just use what i'm using so hit apply okay next you go to benchmark 
and we're going to create more hotkeys here. This is to start the benchmark recording and uh, I'll show you that later. And I'm going to hit an F3 here, Shift F3 and end recording. I'm going to do Shift F4. Okay, that's it. Hit apply. Okay, and now we move to the next and this is pretty much the end of the tutorial here to monitoring this is the most of the time consuming part but it's not that bad and we're gonna go ahead and just start selecting stuff uh, starting with GPU temperature and usually this is the order it comes in most cases I am using an Nvidia graphics card and uh, I am also using an Intel platform but this will work on different graphics cards and different platforms, of course. Uh, go ahead and hit show on screen display for GPU temperature. Then you highlight GPU usage. Go ahead and hit on screen display for that. Then go ahead and choose memory usage. Hit show on screen display. Then core clock. And memory clock. So these are pretty much uh, five items here associated with your graphics card. Now, uh, one thing I'm going to do is show you how to name your graphics card. All right. So there's going to be three items out of these four, five that we're going to change the name of them. So go ahead, starting with the top. Click on override and override group name. And right here, go ahead and just type in the name of your graphics. I'm going to give you an example. I have a GTX 970 here. Just like that. Hit apply. That's one. Next, on the usage. You're going to do the same thing. And you know how you know which three out of five is because it's going to have GPU uh, name right here. That's how you know that's the ones you need to change. You have to change all three of them Otherwise, they're gonna overlap Go ahead hit override override group name again and type in GTX Wait, I'm gonna do capital letters here. You want to match them up exactly the way You did the first one apply and then we scroll down to again one more there's a as you can see, memory usage is under a memory group and memory clock is on the memory also. We don't want to change that. But the core clock is still on the GPU group name. So go ahead again, highlight these two, and name it again GTX 970 or whatever graphics card you're using. Again, all of them are matching the same way. Apply. So we're done with that group for now. Now we're all set on the GPU part. And you could add different stuff here. You know, that's later on, but this is the format I use. I don't want to go crazy. I mean, you could really have a lot of stats on the screen, but this is what I use. And then I'm going to show you a real quick video, how it looks in the game. Okay, next, some of the, all these temperature and voltage. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, but I just want to show you a quick reference guide here. That's pretty useful. Okay, next, we're going to do temperatures under CPU. So CPU, I'm going to go ahead and... Click on that, show on screen display. Then we're going to go to CPU. And you see I'm doing uh, general, just CPU temperature. I'm not doing every single core. I'm just doing the general one. That's good enough for what I like to do. Same thing with the usage. I'm not going to do all four cores, but you could. You could want to do individual cores. Go ahead. Again, we're going to hit display just like that. And now we got the CPU clock again you could do individual cores but I am gonna just do a general one and that is pretty much it for the CPU stuff and now we're gonna name these items we're gonna name it to what we call our CPU name which is in my case an i5 7400 so go ahead and highlight that in the same way that we did the the naming of the graphics card. We're going to hit override graph and every one of them that says CPU, we're going to name it to whatever you want it to do. I'm going to do I5. Let's see like that. 
7400 hit apply okay next is usage and again just to double check when you go down to the group name it says CPU so you want to match up your group name hit override graph override group name and again same way i5 7400 apply now we got looks like one more lat one more left but of course if you had more stuff checked off you would have to do more and go ahead and one more time here hit apply okay so we're done with that group now uh ram usage i like to do so go ahead highlight that and just hit show on screen display we're not gonna change the group name and we're almost coming to an end now when it comes to the frame rate stuff monitor you do have to first check the check it on you see how i did that now it's active now we could change stuff so frame rate we we'll go ahead and just check that and i like to do frame rate average check that oh, i forgot to hit on screen display here go ahead hit on screen display then you go to frame rate average same thing on screen display and frame rate one percent low on screen display you could do uh, 0.1 also but i like to just do one percent low good enough you could go crazy you could do whatever you want now here we're going to rename some of the groups also when it comes to average we're going to go ahead and override group name and graph name and just delete that and type in avg for average hit apply and then we do the one percent low same thing override group and hit one percent space low pretty much just how it, this section is hit apply and that's it you're all set to go go ahead hit ok just uh you know if you want just go back in the video if you missed any steps and yeah that's pretty much it we're all set here and ready to go i'm just going to show you a quick video for about two minutes or so see how it looks like when you are inside of a game so stay tuned for that now there's a very important part i forgot to go over before we go ahead and test out our new settings on the game and that is river tuner menu settings and you get there by going into your msi afterburner and one very important note here you do have to go into your msi afterburner every time and minimize it and let it run in the background in order for your stats and all your figures to work while you're gaming because if it's not running in the background it's not going to work so we go ahead and minimize it so now it's running in your background you go to this menu here and you'll see that the river tuner menu is also running uh, basically every time you go to msi after burner and you run in the background this goes along with it hand in hand so go ahead and click on this menu and here is your menu settings it's very easy very self-explanatory now originally uh, when you first time you do it your numbers are very small they're about this size uh, the one thing I like to do is go ahead and make them big but that's really up to your, your you know your choice here you could put them in different corners as you could see that you know there's a lot of settings here to do but I'm just gonna make it my my simple format I like it in the left corner and uh, as big as possible here you could change the colors and everything like that uh, you you could have the on-screen display fill you could turn that on uh, all these different uh, settings here um, you know I don't want to really go too much into it uh, I'm just gonna run the format that I like and make it as simple as possible so yeah that's pretty much it and then again after going into this menu here don't exit out just minimize it otherwise you exit out the program and then uh, it's not going to run in your background so yeah th finally that is it all we're going to have to do is now just give it a test run on a game and see how it came out so stay tuned for that okay so finally here we are down the stretch line 
there's just one last thing I wanted to show you and it's very important as you can see we're an hour in the game and if you did everything correctly like I showed you 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 would get these kind of figures and uh, we have three sections here the green section is associated with the graphics card uh, the blue section is associated with your processor and RAM and your pink section here is associated with the FPS count now remember we created a couple of hotkeys and they're very important so pay attention the, in this case I did the shift F2 to toggle on and off the screen information so go ahead and hit shift F2 and now your screen information is gone hit shift F2 again and this is very convenient uh, while you play in a game for a while you just get the stats off out of your way and then you jump back in to monitor your temperature and your other information very very important now we have two other keys that we created uh, they're associated with the FPS benchmarking uh, the first one is shift F3 now go ahead and hit shift F3 and now we have two new items came up here which is average and 1% low under your FPS now this is the stuff that uh, you see other youtubers out there using uh, to record the average and the 1% low information. It's that easy. So basically, when you're ready, you're in the game, you activate this menu. Now you hit Shift F3 one more time. And now the recording begins. Now you move around, you do what you gotta do as long as you want. You know, and then you see that the, the average and the low, uh, they kind of fluctuate stuff like that and you know depends how long you want to play the game and average it out 10 minutes five minutes whatever it's up to you and that's how you get that information now to stop that and freeze it you hit shift f4 and that'll stop and you can copy down your average in one percent low on a piece of paper or whatever you want to do and that's how you find out your true averages in one percent lows and yeah that's pretty much it that's what I want to show you. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe down below. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.